Hey, uh, Barton Schultz here. Um, I'm just here for another new video, and uh, this one's basically telling you how to get the Kick application, as you can see on my Kindle Fire here, how to get it on your Kindle, basically. Now, this isn't the new Kindle, and I know that Amazon has come out with a Kindle Fire HD, and I was actually wanting to get that, but I'm not going to at this time because this Kindle is working just fine for me. So, the how to get the Kick application, it's you know, a lot of people have been asking, you know, how do you, how you can get it for iPod and iPad and smartphones, but, you know, how do you get it for Kindle Fire? That's what I'll be telling you, to, I'll be showing you how to basically do that. So, first thing what you do is you go to the Applications, Apps, right here, and you go to this Amazon App Store, and you hit in the search button, you search Download Everything. Now, you guys are wondering, why don't I just do Four Shared? Well, if you guys haven't heard of Four Shared, Four Shared is basically you know a, you can download everything, music files, Android apps on it. And the only reason why they don't have it is because they took it off a couple weeks ago. Because I don't I don't know why. I'd like to tell you why, but there's really nothing I could find out. So we search down. Sorry, I spelled it wrong. Download everything. Everything. And when you type it in, it should come up as Download Everything Pro. And it has a little arrow and it's in this little yellow box thing, as you can see right here. And what you do is, I already have it installed, so you'd install it. And so what I'm going to do is, once it's installed, you open it. I, I can open it since I've already downloaded it. So you open up the Download Everything Pro application, and it's going to come up sideways. So I'm going to have to turn this. So what you do is, you would click the Add Download button and you would search in kick k i k and you would hit the search button and it's going to ask you search via it's going to ask you which one you want to download from for shared or media fire i couldn't find it in media fire so let's just go with for shared cuz it's a lot easier now as we can see we have a lot of we on the side we have it says a type image we're going to look for the type android app now you'd click it but it says, yeah, you download this file, and I already have it downloaded, so once you've downloaded it, you open it up, and you do the regular registration, signups, and everything you do regularly for getting it on your um, iPad or iPod or smartphone. And yeah, then after that, you, it basically, it still does what it does for the iPod and iPad. You still got, you still got your people and all that stuff and it still tells you if they're online or not and if it sent a message if they read the message or if you read the message so basically it's the same thing but it's just a little bit harder to get it, and it's not on the v Amazon App Store at the moment I hope it will be but we who never whoever knows like whatever so thank you guys for watching it's basically just a tutorial and if you have any questions please leave it in the uh, comments below and I will try to get back to you and answer them as soon as possible thank you very much